This is just a quick video to show you Magnus Carlsen's fatal error against Hans Niemann in round three of the 2022 Sinkfield Cup. Magnus begins to go wrong with this weird looking move g4. I think he's hoping for f takes g4 when he can capture here with the rook. And now this pawn is under attack. So let's say black tries this. We got rook to f4, king g6, then we can go e4. And uh, if takes, then you know, the bishop can take with check, something like that. If h5, then rook e5 hitting this pawn here is not a great way to defend. You can't go king g6 because bishop e4 check. You know, that's an attack on the knight, discovered attack. So that's not working. You can try rook c1 check, king d2. This kind of thing, trying to pin the bishop, but then the king will march up this way. You go here, but we're going to take here. Okay, so... White might be okay here, but f takes g4 is not what Hans played. Hans played rook c5, hitting that bishop. So how does this change things? The bishop escapes. Now knight c4 is played. f takes g4 might even be stronger here. After rook takes, you got f5, and then rook f4, king f6. Now e4 doesn't really work here because the king can just attack the rook. And the rook can't take f5 with check. I mean, you can, but now that this bishop has been driven away, see if the bishop was right here, that move would be working for white. But here it's not because you got rook takes, takes, and king takes. And black's winning this end game. But Hans played this knight c4 move, which is pretty good, although it does give Magnus some chances here. After bishop takes c4, if Magnus would have played that, it might have been his best chance. Rook takes, takes, and then... Black can go here and try to get this pawn here, and these two pass pawns are going to be very strong. Black might still be winning here, but Magnus didn't play that. Magnus played a4, which is not a good move because now there's knight to d6, hitting the rook. Okay, rook e7. Now f takes g4. Rook goes to d7, hitting the knight. Then black plays this very powerful move, e3. Okay, so there's a mate threat. White needs to do something about this move here. So white takes. Now we got knight e4. Now there's another threat. Uh, let's say just white just does something like this. Rook c1 check. Rook d1. Okay, it's not mate, but rook takes. King takes knight c3 check is a fatal fork. Black will win. So Carlson obviously sees that, and he goes king to f1. So now we got rook c1 check by Neiman might not be the best move. Rook to f5 check is what the computer is suggesting. King g2 and then just b6 protecting that pawn and it's saying black is winning here. But rook c1 check is played. King g2. Now rook c2, okay, hitting the bishop, hitting that pawn. Bishop takes f7 is played. Okay, it's a good move. Rook takes e2 check. King moves a little back and forth here. Rook to e2 check. King g1. And now we got king f6 coming in towards the middle. Now, the best move here for Carlsen is probably rook takes b7, and he just might survive after this line. Knight g5, bishop goes to here, knight h3 check. It looks kind of scary. Attack the rook, rook f2 check, this kind of stuff. Uh, bishop can move like this. White just may survive this, even though black's pieces are very aggressively placed. At least the pawn count is, is even right here. But Carlson plays bishop d5, and this is a big mistake because we got rook d2. That bishop's pinned, and the threat is that the king's just going to come to e5 and win it. So Carlson, he's got this check, which I guess he thought is his saving grace, king to g6. But then he plays a big mistake, rook d7. And he misses a tactic, I guess. Rook e7 is better, counterattacking the knight, allowing, um, you know, rook takes, rook takes. And this is probably winning for black, but maybe Carlsen will survive. But this move, rook d7, it just loses on the spot because you got knight to g5. The threat is knight f3 check here, knight takes with check here. Knight goes back to here, check, here, and then g3. I mean, what are you doing about that pawn? This is the end of the road for white, so bishop f7 check. 
this is the move that Carlson was counting on. It looks like, you know, it's a discovered attack against the rook. But the king just goes to here. And the point is here, after rook takes d2, knight f3 check is a fork. King g2, knight takes. And this is a winning endgame for black with the extra pawn. Hans went on to win this. So what happens if the king takes here and we got knight takes h2 check? Yeah. It went on for quite a few moves here. But at the end of the day, yeah, these these pawns, yeah, he, he grabs another pawn. So, yeah, that's it. Hans is now the clear leader of this tournament. And that is quite an amazing victory against the number one player in the world.